Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an updated hair care routine video. I have not done one of these in a long time, so this was a overdue video for you guys. This is a salon quality version because I am a licensed hair professional, so I'm going to be showing you guys salon quality products that really work for my hair and is part of my new hair care routine. I know in my last video I did show lots of Orbe products, but today I am going to be switching it up. I have lots of different other products here to talk about. You do want to be using high quality products on your hair because your hair is like your skin so you want to be using a good products but before we jump right into this video don't forget to subscribe down below so you can see more videos like this in the future also don't forget to follow me on instagram ash luna so you guys see a little bit more behind the scenes a little more my life i am a hair professional so if you guys want to see hair content also lifestyle content beauty related and french bulldogs give me a follow down below and let me know that you're from youtube so if you're interested to see this salon quality hair care routine then just continue watching also a little disclaimer before we begin uh, well a couple disclaimers the first one being i do wash my hair once a week yes i know i know not everyone is lucky like that i've always been like that since i was a little girl always wash my hair once a week sometimes i wash it twice a week depending on my hair cycle what i'm doing gym events all that but I do wash it once a week. Second disclaimer, please take these products with a grain of salt. These products won't work for everyone. It's kind of like skincare. You kind of have to figure out what works for your hair, what doesn't. So some of these products might work for you and some of these products may not, vice versa. So yeah, just take it with a grain of salt. All right, now we can begin with the hair care routine. First being first, like I said, I do wash it once a week. And usually my cycle is either every Thursday morning after I'm done with the gym, I will wash my hair, blow dry it, and do all of these steps. Or I will wash it Tuesday before I start my work week, Wednesday through Saturday, and it just depends. And these products I've been using for the last six months now, so I've been really obsessed with this new routine I've been doing. Has it been six months? No, I would say like four months. Four months I've been using this hair care routine and I just love it. I love, love, love. I did switch it up a little bit. And some of these products you'll see that I've been using for years and they're just my holy grail, just stuff that works best for my hair. So the very first thing I like to do in my routine is obviously wash my hair. And usually if it's after my workout, my hair is disgusting, it is gross, it's up in a ponytail, it's greasy, it's sweaty most of the time, and I'm ready to wash that thing wash it real good i do like to brush my hair before i get in the shower and wash it just to avoid any added tangles i'm going to detangle once i get out of the shower so that is a little tip number one or just a little tip i don't know how many tips i have in this video so we're just gonna say tip tip the first tip once i detangle i hop in the shower i do wash my hair with warm water not too hot and not cold there is a myth that people think that it's better to wash your hair with cold water that is not true. Your hair is like your skin. You want to wash it with warm water because what it does is it opens up the hair cuticle and it penetrates all of the hair products into your hair cuticle, almost like your skin. You want to wash your face with warm water. That way your pores are being open and the skincare can penetrate into your skin to do its thing, to do the magic, to do all the work. You know? Obviously, if you have fresh and colored hair, definitely wash it with cold water. That's going to preserve your color but it is best to wash it with warm water. And obviously the very first thing I'm gonna do is shampoo. I do alternate between two shampoos at the moment. I still use my Olaplex, that is my ride or die. I've been using that thing for years now and I swear my hair has changed so much since using that product. I love it and like I said, take it with a grain of salt because Olaplex does not work for every single person. I am a hairstylist. I do recommend Olaplex to my clients, but Olaplex just doesn't work for every single hair type. And I know there was a little bit of rumors flying around TikTok, online, that Olaplex was causing bald spots and hair loss, and there was a bunch of lawsuits or something. That is a lie. Olaplex CEO actually came out on Instagram and talked about her facts. The facts are valid. It does not cause hair loss. It does not cause hair balding. So please don't believe the stuff you see on TikTok. It is not real. And I really stand behind Olaplex. I love Olaplex. I've seen the difference that it makes in my hair and my client's hair. I also use the number one treatment in my salon on my clients and it works miracle, okay? Just a little side note about Olaplex, but let's get back on track. I love Olaplex, so today I did decide to use Olaplex shampoo. I do alternate between that one and the Orbe Hair Alchemy. Oh, that shampoo's amazing. I did use that one last week, so this week I wanted to use Olaplex, but I do alternate. I love the Orbe one. Unfortunately, I don't work with Orbe anymore, 
Orbe was catered in my last salon. I don't work with Orbe anymore. Hair Alchemy is a new line from Orbe and it is considered as a preventative for your hair. It's not going to repair your hair, but it is going to prevent that breakage, the damage that comes with bleaching, color treated hair. It's amazing. I love the packaging, I love the way it smells. Another benefit is that it's not highly moisturized as the Gold Lust Shampoo and the Moisture Control Shampoo. It has a lot less oils in it compared to the other ones, but it is good for all hair types, for fine hair, thick hair, medium hair. So I love that about Hair Alchemy. Back to Olaplex, I did accidentally squeeze a little too much today, but usually a little bit goes a long way. I love how lathering it is on my scalp and on my hair. Usually sulfate free shampoos don't lather at all. You really have to work with it, but Olaplex is amazing at that. But I did add a little bit too much, so disregard all of that product I use. And as you guys can see in the clip, I am washing it in horizontal motion, not taking all of my hair and lathering into one big bush because that's what's gonna cause tangles, breakage when you're detangling. You wanna keep it focused in the scalp only. A lot of people think they have to wash their entire hair and that is a myth. You wanna focus it just on your roots. And once you pour water all over your hair to rinse some of that product out, it's going to wash the ends of your hair as well. So don't overuse product <laughs> all over your hair. Just focus it on the scalp. A new product that I've added in my hair care routine is the Trust Deluxe Prime Miracle Reconstruction Nourishment Spray. It's a very long name, but we're just gonna say this by trust. This stuff is amazing. It helps with the elasticity of your hair. It makes it nice and strong. I have been bleaching my hair, so I do want the elasticity to stay nice and strong because once you bleach it, it does get a little, you know, a little rough. I do want to go pink this summer, hopefully. So I ha do have to do another session with blonde. So this product is really nice to keep my hair nice and strong and to get ready for all of the bleaching that's coming in the future. <laughs> it's very easy to use. You just spray it in your hair right after you shampoo. You leave it on for a couple minutes and you rinse it off and then you apply conditioner. Or you can apply it as a styling product before you blow dry. I've done both, but it's just easier for me to do it in the shower. I love this product. Once I'm done rinsing off the Trust Spray, then I will go ahead with my conditioner. I have been taking a little break of the Orbe Gold Lust Mask. I've been using that mask for years. I wanted to switch it up a little bit, so I am using the Trust one, and then I'm also just using the Orbe Hair Alchemy Conditioner. The conditioner is so good, it smells amazing. Obviously, it goes well with the shampoo, but I use it every single wash. I will apply a quarter size amount. I do apply my conditioner and prayer hands if that's what you want to call it it's just easier application that way it gets bottom top and distributes all throughout the hair and then whatever's left on my palms i will run it through the front pieces of my hair and just a little bit on the back just give it a little bit of moisture i do let the conditioner sit for a couple minutes while i finish up shaving and all that and then rinse everything out hop out of the shower and then it is after shampoo hair care once i hop out of the shower towel dry my hair i do prefer to use a microfiber towel i do prefer to use a microfiber towel i can't say that i do prefer to use a microfiber towel i don't know why that was so hard for me to say it was like a tongue 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 twister microfiber towel there we go I think. I do like to spray this detangler. It's the Good Behavior 4-in-1 Prep Spray. It's a detangler. It's also a 24-hour frizz control, and it also has 450 heat protection shine. I've been obsessing with this spray. Honestly, the whole line of this Good Behavior from IGK, I'm obsessed. I've been giving my run-through from Orbe a break. Now that I don't work with Orbe anymore, this is just a little bit cheaper for me. And honestly, I think I prefer this a little bit more. It does work similar to the run-through from Orbe, but I do like this one a little bit more because it does help with the frizz. And I don't have a Brazilian blowout at the moment. It's slowly rinsing out because I did bleach it. And I don't want to do another one at the moment because I am going to bleach it again soon, so there's no point. So I'll spray this all over my hair, detangle it with a wet brush. Wet brush is important. We want to keep the hair nice and healthy. Not ripping your hair off. I do like to start from the bottom, work my way to the up, brush, brush it all out. And then also it helps distribute the product all through the hair. Once I'm done applying that product, then I will apply my Orbe Serene Scalp Thickening Spray. I love this stuff. I do have another bag up in my closet, but that is it that I'll be done with. I'm not sure if I will repurchase it because it is $72, I believe, for this bottle, but I love it. I've been using it for years and I will continue to use it up until it runs out. But in the meantime, it's still a part of my hair care routine. Now I like to let my hair air dry for a good amount of time. 
This is important because it just makes the blow drying process a lot easier. So usually I will wash my hair, put some makeup on my face, and then go ahead and blow dry or I will eat breakfast, lunch, whatever I'm doing. I do like to let it air dry a good 80% if you can. If you are in a little time crunch, definitely power blow dry and make sure you get all that moisture out. I do that too if I'm in a time crunch, but if you can let it air dry up to 80%, that's good. Obviously, if you have thick, coarse, curly hair that is not in your routine because you do want to blow dry your hair when it's moist, that way you have the sleekest blow dry and gets rid of frizz and all that. But in my situation, I do like to let it air dry 80%. Now that it's time to blow dry my hair, I'm going to be using another IGK product, which is from the Good Behavior line. This one is the Smoothing Blowout Balm, and then this one is the Protein Smoothing Spray. I use both of them. Sometimes I'll just use this one, but for a more sleek blow dry like today, I will use both of them. I do like to apply this one first. I will apply it all throughout my hair, and then I will apply this through sections as I'm blow drying, but this I do right before I blow dry. And the easiest way for me to blow dry my hair is to split my hair in half, and then take sections. I will take this section here, clip it, apply that spray, and then go ahead and blow dry. I swear I have the worst luck because I just moved into this house, it's very quiet, and as soon as I'm filming for the first time in, in my bedroom in front of the window, there's a moving truck outside making noises. So, sorry if you guys hear that weird noise out there. It's a moving truck. I don't know what the heck they're doing, but we're gonna continue. My clients think I spend a lot on my blow dry. I spend less than 10 minutes on my blow dry. And I think it really helps if you let your hair air dry 80%. And as you can see in the clip, I'm just kind of blow drying it like this, taking my brush, smoothing it out in that motion. I don't have a technique to it, honestly. I just do like the roughest blow dry. But I would say my biggest tip for you guys is to always finish your blow dry on the top, smoothing everything out, because that's going to help reduce frizz. If you take that blow dryer and you're sticking it up, it's gonna cause frizz. Once I'm done with my entire blow dryer, you guys can tell that it's nice and sleek looking, frizz free, shiny. I do like to finish my blow dry with a finishing product, whether it be an oil or just a creamy pomade. Today I did go in with my Fanola oil. This is the nurturing oil. I love this oil, it smells really good and it really helps add a little bit of shine. And the reason why I love it is because it doesn't feel too oily on my hair. I hate oils that feel just if you put a tub of oil on it and it's not cute. Because then your blow dryer doesn't last long. And that's 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 what sucks. The allergies in Florida, it's rough out here. So that is my entire hair care routine. I will mention a couple other products that I will use in my little hair care routine throughout the week. First one being is a curling iron. This is my go-to curling iron. It's the Babyliss curling iron in one and a quarter. I always get a lot of questions on my curls at the salon. This is what I use and my camera's dying so I need to replace the battery. 2,000 years later. All right, we are back an hour later. My camera died and I thought I had a backup charger and I didn't. They were both dead, so I had to wait an hour. In the meantime, I did run an errand, but I am back an hour later. The sun is beaming in here, which is great, but I had to close the blinds a bit. Like I was saying about my curling iron, this curling iron I use the most on myself and on my clients. It is the one and a quarter from Babyliss. Honestly, you can use any one and a quarter to get those effortless waves, but this has been my go-to for years and years. I still love the effortless waves. I am dabbling into more of like the blown out waves. I just prefer like the effortless beachy waves on myself. But this is still a part of my hair care routine. And as well as the three barrel waver. I do use that mostly in the summertime. I haven't used that in a minute, but I do love that. And then a couple other products I wanna talk about real quick is dry shampoo. I'm currently using this one. It is a powder and it's from the brand Maria Nilla. This is what it looks like. I do use the actual dry shampoo, the canister, but I ran out, so I just have this. I wanted to try a powder, and I like it, but this is so messy. It's beyond messy. I do love the smell of these products, but the powder form of the dry shampoo is just so messy. I don't think I'll repurchase this, but it is nice in the time being. I do want to repurchase the spray one, though, but people are saying that spray dry shampoo causes cancer i feel like if you overuse dry shampoo you use it every single day and you don't really cleanse your scalp that well but yes it can penetrate through your scalp and possibly give you cancer but that's why it's good to use clean products this is a clean brand so that's why 
I always mention this dry shampoo. I haven't really been using Batiste or any other dry shampoo. I've just been sticking to a clean brand like this one. So this is just the dry shampoo that I've been using in my hair care routine. And for hairsprays, I want to talk about one hairspray specifically. This is actually a heat protectant hairspray, but I mostly use this as a heat protectant. I do spray this before I actually curl my hair only on dry hair. I don't do it wet, but only on dry hair. I will spray this in per section as I'm curling and then finish off with hairspray. This is the Beach Waver brand and they did send it to me last summer to try out and I love it. And then as far as hairsprays, you guys know I love my Orbe Strong hairspray. We have two currently, one is Ryan and one is mine, but specifically the strong one, that stuff is amazing. I really feel like it makes my curls last a really long time, but I did find something a little bit similar and this is the authentic beauty concept. This is actually what I'm using on my clients at the salon. I've been really loving this brand. Not sure where you can find this at. I do find this at the color store. Finally, this stuff reminds me so much of Orbe, but a little bit more affordable. Still salon quality, but not as pricey as the Orbe. I still love Orbe. will continue to use that hairspray forever. But I do use this day to day on weekends. And then I use my Orbe for more special occasions, you know, because it's pricey. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is that sometimes I do use purple shampoo. The purple shampoo that I'm currently using is the Olaplex Purple. That stuff is so strong. You only need to leave it on for a little bit. I don't use purple shampoo all the time, once in a blue moon, like literally once in a blue moon. I do like my hair more beigey, more golden tones, but sometimes it does get a little dull and I do want to change it up a little. So I do use the purple shampoo just to make it a little bit more beigey, not so ashy. So that is the purple shampoo that I do use if I use it. That does complete my salon quality hair care routine. Hopefully you guys found some products in here that you guys want to try. I will try my best to link as much as I can down below. And like I said, take all of these products with a grain of salt. Please don't come for me for the Olaplex. Like I said, all of these products are salon quality. They are not drugstore pricing at all, but I promise you, I promise you, they are worth it. It is so important to use higher quality products on your hair. There are certain more affordable products for your hair that I do like, but for the most part, I do use high quality products for my hair because your hair is like your skin. You want to treat it very well so that way it's nice and healthy and beautiful looking. And if you have any questions about the products I mentioned in this video, definitely let me know down below. But if you guys enjoyed it, definitely give me a big thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.